Hey, Brian Douglas here. This week's blog is to clear up some confusion that I think a lot of people get because they don't understand something that they're being told. People talk to their financial advisor or their accountant or their CPA, and then they'll talk about estate planning. And those professionals will say, well, you need to do some estate planning. You need to talk to an attorney. You need to figure that out. And sometimes they're given this word, and it, you know, the word is grantor, grantor trust. And they're given this word, but they don't know what that means. So they Google it, and they're like, I'm confused. I don't know what a grantor trust is. I've heard of revocable trust. I've heard of irrevocable trust. I've heard of you know, charitable trust. But I don't know this grantor trust. And the reality is a grantor trust isn't a trust itself. It's a type of trust, and it's a type of trust that, that encompasses many different actual trusts underneath it. And, and what it really entails is that if you set up a grantor trust, it, it has certain tax consequences or tax benefits with the IRS, right, with your income taxes. And so the long and the short of it is, depending on what type of trust you actually set up, if you come work with an estate planning attorney like me, we may use a grantor trust, we may not. That's a bigger conversation. But a grantor trust isn't a trust itself. It's just more of a, of a definition of a trust that basically says that you as the grantor, you're the person who is the grantor, are setting up a trust and the assets are still basically yours for tax purposes. So kind of a confusing nuance, if you will. It's a little, uh, little complicated because there's so many kinds of trust. But if you ever run into that terminology, that's all it means. It doesn't mean that that's the trust. You don't, like if you called me and said, I want a grantor trust, the first thing I would say is, why? You know, tell me what's going on. You may ultimately get a grantor trust, but it wouldn't be that. It might be a revocable trust or an irrevocable trust. But, you know, there's a lot of different trusts out there. So, you know, that's part of the, part of the analysis. So if you have any questions about trusts, taxes with trusts, grantor trusts, certainly check out this week's blog. Give us a call. We're always here to help. That's all we've got for this week, and we'll see you next week.